it is. Coach, just talk about giving up, uh, give it up first give an update on the team uh, so far this season, then we'll talk about today's match. Uh, yeah, you know, it's been, uh, it's been a battle. Um, this is, I think, one of, one of our best teams we've put together. We've had some very, very talented teams in the past, but I think this group is just uh, a little bit more suited as a team and, and committed uh, to each other. And, uh, and so we've, we've gone into some games, and, and unfortunately uh, some of them haven't gone quite the way we, we expected them to or thought they should have. Uh, but there were growing moments, you know, and we're, we're a young team. We're starting sometimes anywhere to five to six freshmen. Uh, some that's sophomores a lot. For, in that. Yeah, that's a lot absolutely. for this sport. This absolutely. And so, you know, and our and our upperclassmen are, are giving us everything that they have. So it's a it's a joint effort. Attitudes are good, you know. And uh, of course, you know, anytime you're winning, attitudes tend to be a little bit better. But you know, we haven't won every game, so it's been nice to um, see these guys grow and mature. Um, you know, especially the younger boys, uh, quicker than uh, a lot of times they, they typically do. So, uh, you know, would have liked to have gotten a few more of those uh, those uh, losses into wins. But, you know, at the end of the day, if, if we get those things right in the conference, that's what matters. You know, those are just preparation for the ultimate, which is conference. So. All right. With that now, today's match, it was a good one. It was. It was. Um, you know, we talk about when uh, you know we had to play uh, Friday against Seattle and, and a very uh, very technical, very uh, solid team and how they move the ball and those things and to come out and battle and get that win and then you know less than 36 hours later come back out and have to do it again um, and uh, you know the boys and and then playing a, a Utah Valley who hasn't had but a few losses either and are nationally ranked and and you know feeling good about themselves and. Um, so for us to come out and do that twice in a row shows character, shows heart, it shows a commitment. Uh, and so for, for me, the staff, I uh, couldn't be more proud of these guys and, and the effort that they put in this weekend. Now it's, it's us uh, knowing that we're good enough to do that and, and not stop here, you know. Got to get road wins, you know, and, and uh, be able to, to find uh, – the same kind of energy and the same kind of commitment on the road that we're doing at home and uh, you know and then things are good you know we talked about that you know Friday was a was an upset across the country you know today the people are going to consider it an upset at some point what people need to know is this isn't an upset this is a great team that won their game you know and and as we start to change the mindset of how people view us and and, uh, and we continue to push forward on the things that we're doing uh, then then they won't be upsets you know they'll they'll be expected and so I'm, I'm proud of these guys and the work that they put in today it was a great effort it was hot you know both teams having to deal with that um, maybe it played in a little bit more for us because we're used to it uh, but we'll take those advantages anytime we get them you know <laughs> well let's start let's start with right there uh, moving forward that's one of the things that teams talk about around the area when they come out of those different regions and all and they get here <laughs> to the, especially the, the Houston and Dallas is yes. it, it, it can wear on you mentally just because you're physically able to get some things done but mentally late in the game you're fighting against an element that just sure. won't quit. Absolutely. Well, and and luckily for them, it wasn't as humid as it usually is. <laughs> it was hot, but yeah, they lucked out. Oh yeah. I mean, if it's humid, it's worse. You know, I mean, because it just sucks all the energy out of you. And uh, I mean, in the first half, you could see it for them. They, they were having to change out outside backs left and right uh, because we were able to get after them, uh, and, and people were getting tired. You know, um, they used a lot of subs. Now, second half, we used a, a, quite a bit too. Uh, but it was more of game management, you know, uh, some of our guys put in a lot of minutes and, and need to give them a little bit of a rest and then get them back in and let them do their thing, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's, it, you know, it's tough. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, in November, you got to go up to uh, Colorado Springs or, you know, go to, go to Utah or anywhere where it's blizzards up there, you know, then we deal with, oh, this is, this is terrible, cold, you know. So, you, you know, you got, you got both elements right now. You know, for us, uh, this weather is more like August weather, which was great that it came in for today. Yeah. Um, you know, and uh, we'll, like I said, we'll take anything we can to, to get us moving forward. So. Now, after today's win, this puts you where in the conference and preparing for 
conference tournament? I don't, I don't know where we're going to be at in the standings. It puts us two and two. Um, that should put them at three and one. Seattle, if they won today, they're three and one. So it should move us up in into the you know the upper echelon. They take six out of the eleven teams. Um, nine are actually qualified to go. You have Incarnate Word and Grand Canyon that cannot yet. Mm -hmm. So there's nine teams that can, and we're taking six of those nine. So it's us making sure that we're in that top six. You know, can we get ourselves a little bit better seating? That would be great. But ultimately, right now, it's can we make the conference tournament, something we didn't do last year. And one last thing, set up the next match. Uh, I got UMKC coming in. Um, I do not know their result for today. I'm pretty sure they had a game today. Um, so we'll find that out. Uh, you know, we've, we've been... Uh, Hit and miss on them. Mm -hmm. We beat them at their place. Uh, they've beaten us here. Uh, we've beaten them here. You know, so it, it should make for a, a good match. Again, I don't know where they're at. You know, in in record and in in mindset. You know, I think one thing that'll you know potentially help us is if uh, if they're kind of you know down a bit and, and the energy that we're coming off of this weekend, can we continue that energy? We're at home, um, undefeated right now. You know, this season. So can we continue that? I think. I think it gives us the advantage, but at the end of the day, there, there isn't a conference team that we have that you can say, you know what, we can take this one a little bit lighter. Um, at the D1 level, man, everybody's in a dogfight. <laughs> so, so, you know, it, it should be a great match, uh, you know, Friday night. Uh, hopefully good weather, good crowd. You know, last Friday we had an unbelievable crowd. Uh, so that, that gave us a lot of good energy. Um, so hopefully Friday against UMKC we can come out and do the things that we continue to work on and you know find their um, their mishaps and things that they're maybe not quite sharp on and take advantage of that so all right then with that we'll finish out uh, coach introduce yourself and we'll close this out I'm Steve Jones head men's soccer coach HBU this is Jerry Lee Woodley Jr. the college sports report here on the campus of HBU the Huskies won today against Utah Valley University 2-1